hello guys so i am back with another video so today i will talk about again the, the topic on which i have i had to work with you all like text to speech and speech to text that is called tds so in the last video i had to work with you know a uh, real time voice cloning or you know a voice that's convert into humanoid voice and let's convert a robotic voice into humanoid voice so in in the in the same uh, category uh, you can find a number of models in github kegel uh, more on the other platforms but uh, like uh, i have figured out some models in the same category so one of the model is real time voice cloning so this is the uh, model uh, in the last video i am talking about uh, so this is the model where you can uh, you know transform your text to uh, into speech of you know certain uh, like into a certain uh, reference voice as well as under certain speaker voice so this is the basically uh, github profile of that of uh, you know real time voice cloning model so you can find or uh, you can clone this into a local uh, local uh, directory so uh, this this particular models come comes with you know different uh, kind of you know papers and you can find as wave uh, rn and tecron and you know different uh, like encoder synthesizer vocoder so you can find the research papers for this uh, you know the neural audio synthesis is an end to end speech synthesis and how you can use encoder and decoders sorry encoder and synthesizer so you can you can you can uh, take reference from this uh, research papers uh, now uh, let's let's come to the uh, to the installment and uh, install installations and uh, setup requirements for this so like if you are using windows or linux in 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 both the operating system it it works very well and moreover you can you can also run it on the cpu version uh, for GPU version, you can you can run from your local computer. Or you can prefer Google Google Pro Pro uh, call a Pro version, or you can use Kegel, or you can use any other online uh, you know computation for the for GPU. I have uh, implemented this model in uh, like in my local system, uh, which is based on CPU. So like you can you can you can take reference. Uh, from installment of requirements uh, from the from the file requirements.txt moreover you can also uh, need python of version 3.5 or greater above or above 3.5 version uh, specifically on dependency you can you can you need to install fmpeg and pytorch for uh, you know for a stable version and you can you can prefer the requirements.txt for more details uh, the next point is they also uh, provide the pretend weights so you can uh, if you don't want to train your model and if you want to just uh, you know load the weights and just uh, test so you can you can download those pretend models so likewise you, you need to a uh, set path for this uh, pretend models likewise you need to create a folder <coughs> name called save model default and then you can you can uh, copy paste the uh, encoder synthesizer and vocoder weights files in this particular directory so once you downloaded the pretend models the next is the test configuration so likewise as i told you it's work on cpu and gpu both the versions but again you can text all your configurations with this uh, python dev underscore cli.py file if all the text are like passed from from your configuration you are good to go with the implementation of this code uh, the next point is the download data set so likewise in this uh, particular model they have used uh, libri speech train uh, clean 100 so you can uh, you can also download it the above version or lower version from this category and you need to again the set the path again in, in the in the contained is data uh, data set root directory libri speech intent clean 100 so like you can uh, you can you can take a reference from this link so if all the requirements and setup and configuration from the is done from your side you are good to go with the with the interface option so like for interface uh, you can you 
can run command like this demo underscore zone dot pi minus d uh, minus d the data set you can prefer or you can um, like you can open this pi file and you can check the arguments and you can mention the data data set to directory uh, moreover if you have any issues here so you can also refer the issue section uh, in the in the in particular this model history so i have already cloned this model in in my local directory so now let's begin with the code so this is my uh, name of the directory i've cloned this model uh, and i would uh, like i would recommend you to that if you're using this uh, model into, into linux or maybe in windows you need to uh, you know create a virtual environment for this so i have already created virtual environment uh, for this so like i am activating this as my virtual environment so this is the command to activate the virtual environment so now i've created the virtual environment for this <coughs> so i have uh, done all the you know setup configuration and installment for this model so i'm directly running the file as demo underscore toolbox so this is uh, the command and again in the in the model i've mentioned the data set so this is the path of my data set again i am running this on, on the cpu version so like if you are running on the cpu version you know you don't need to mention and cpu it will take as difficult but if you are if you will run this code on cpu so you need to mention as argument as cpu so it is take time and after some time it will open an interface of uh, toolbox so this is the interface of toolbox so you can see uh, it or uh, it's already loaded a train clean model they speak a value that prints the load uh, there are other options also also available in this section likewise you can browse your custom speaker value or custom audio file you can record from your microphone uh, before implementation or uh, before moving further you can also play the uh, like audio from uh, like before the implementation you can play me stop the next is the encoder synthesizer and vocoder file uh, so i have uh, set the path according to the mo model directory so it, it's uh, it's already you know uh, take it as default for the audio output you can you can change it as system default pulse or uh, you know there so there is an option of uh, changing the output in, in the format and this is the text interface where you can you can create or you can put your text in, in this particular diapers to generate a speech according to this so here i am mentioning my new text as good morning my name is john and i am a software developer in a company so this is my text so likewise uh, you can you can directly convert this into speech so now i am uh, going to upload my reference audio file so this is my reference audio file i have you know downloaded this from google directly so you can see the mail spectrogram for this so before going further you can play this option uh, you can play the audio file uh, else you can moving further with the implementation so like once your text is done in the dialog box you just need to click on the synthesize and vocode option so once you click on this uh, you can see the generation is, is started so this is like uh, your generation is started so once the uh, once is 100 percent you can export your wave file as output file into your uh, desired uh, directory uh, you can also click on the random set to generate a specific uh, you know uh, generation of uh, your speech uh, uh, at a random set value so you need you need to uh, edit this value as, as per your choice and again there are option of synthesis only and vocode only so you can you can all So this is basically, uh, you know, all the options are the customized options. You can you can uh, select as per your choice. So now I'm exporting this file as result sample dot wave. So this is my uh, you know exported file. You can you 
can find this file in in my local directory so this is that's all uh, this is the interface of uh, the code inter the code uh, implementation towards text to speech and uh, yeah that's all and this is my uh, directory and this is my result so you can see it's it's running uh, it's running and you can change the value of speaker uh, in the in the toolbox and uh, hope so you find this video is informative and interesting if you like the video please hit and uh, please share this video and please subscribe my channel and uh, yeah that's all thank you so much for your time and patience and i'll see you in the next video bye bye